In this video, I'm going to start a discussion about modular arithmetic. There may be a second part to this video, so stay tuned for it. All right. So here is modular arithmetic. You can see modular arithmetic. Now normally, when you see an equal sign, it has two parallel lines. But these have three parallel lines. So what is modular arithmetic? Well, let's take a look at this clock right here. Now, as the day progresses, you have 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4, so on and so forth, all the way up to 12. Well, there is no 13 o'clock, there's no 14 o'clock, so on and so forth. The cycle starts at 12. So once you get past the number 12, you're back to 1 o'clock again, 2 o'clock, so on and so forth. You can have a 1 o'clock in the morning and you can have a 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You can have a 2 o'clock in the morning and a 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 2 o'clock in the afternoon is very pleasant. But I will tell you that 2 o'clock in the morning is not a very pleasant thing unless you're an astronomer. Okay? Most people do not get up at 2 o'clock in the morning unless they either have to work or they're an incredible astronomer. Either way, you, know, you get the picture. All right. Because of this, they invented modular arithmetic. All right? So it's basically a remainder past a cycle. All right? And I will show you yet another cycle. This is from computer terminology. In the old days, they used to have one gig hard drives. Then it was two. Then it was four. Then it was eight. Then it was 16. So on and so forth until it hit 1,024. Once the hard drives hit 1,024, they weren't labeled 1,024 gigs anymore. They were la labeled 1 terabyte. So when it gets to 1,024 in a cycle, it goes right back to 1. Okay? Now, in order to illustrate this more clearly, I've written down a modular arithmetic formula. As you can see, 39 is modularly equal to 3. Okay? And it says mod 12 on the side here. Now what does that mean? Okay. 36 divided by 12 is 3. Alright, but that's not what this 3 is. Alright? Now, 39 minus 36 is 3. Alright? So that's what this 3 is here. So what you're saying is that 39 is modularly equal to 3 because 12 times 3 is 36 and the remainder after that would be 3 because 39 minus 36 is 3. And I'll take you through that one more time just so that you understand. Okay. Do this one more time here. You have your number 39 and you have your modular 12 here. 39 minus uh, 36 is 3. 12 times 3 is 36. So you take your mod 12 here times 3 which gives you 36 and 39 minus 36 is 3 and that 3 is what that 3 is right up there. All right. So if you see three equal, if you three, see three parallel lines, then that means that that number is modularly equal to that, not just equal. All right. And I will probably discuss more of this in a future video. But at least you have now been introduced to modular arithmetic. Stay tuned.